When earthquakes do happen, as and as we know, it's very rare, but this is typically, it has typically been the spot that they have happened. This one was uh, at our current look. Oh, getting ahead of myself here. Let me go back for you guys. Uh, at our current look, this one is a 4.7 magnitude, and, and it was located uh, just half a mile down, which is incredibly shallow as far as these things go, which is why so many people felt it. Uh, like you, I didn't feel it here in the building. You was high. If you didn't feel that earthquake, you was high. I don't, well not, no, 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 because when you high, you aware. I don't know. I don't know how y'all didn't feel that. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You click the title, you read the page, so I'm going to just get to the point. An earthquake is crazy. To all my Australian subscribers, to all my overseas subscribers, I'm from New York, all right? Born and raised. I just moved to Jersey three years ago, so I'm from New York. We don't have earthquakes. Probably 31 years of living, we probably only had like one. That was like maybe 12 years ago. I was young. I don't remember the effect it had on me mentally. This morning, I am asleep. Let's say the earthquake happened at 10.05, hypothetically speaking. 10.04, my dog was barking crazy. Now, people come in and out the building, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is somebody coming in the building. He usually barks if it's, you know, if somebody's coming in. I didn't hear nobody coming in. Within a few seconds later, I I live, it don't even matter where I live, but I, I'm on the first floor, right? I'm feeling, it sounds like the ceiling is coming down on me. One, two, I'm, I'm hearing it. That's what the earthquake feels like. I'm in my bed. All I hear is, doom, doom, doom. It sounds like the ceiling. I'm on the first floor. I'm thinking everything is going to fall down on me. I run toward the door. My dog is already at the door. I felt like he was already at the door because when I didn't see him in my, in my, you know. But why are you already at the door? That means he knew my dog was trying to warn me literally a minute or so before. So um, I'm alive, guys. Um, The earthquake only lasted a minute. And I'm going to be honest with you, it felt like forever. Like, the only thing that went through my mind was I'm about to die alone. And I ain't going to lie, that bothered me. I got to get a shorty or something because I ain't trying to die alone. Let's get to these news clips. Out to uh, Fox News. He might be able to join us. Adam, are you there? Uh, hey, guys. Yeah, I am here. I also didn't feel it. I feel like I was missing out on that. We do have a couple of... What? Yo, some of people like, yo, I didn't feel it. I wish I felt it. You should... You don't want to feel that. That shit is scary. Like, you literally don't know if the world is going to end. Especially, like, if we lived in California and an earthquake happened, it would have been normal. Because they always have earthquakes in California. I said California. <laughs> Look, that's how shooken up I am. Like, <laughs> the earthquake happened at 10 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. I'm still nervous. Like, if this would have happened in California, it would have been normal. But you know, being from New York, New Jersey, bro, it's not... We don't, we don't get earthquakes, bro. So it kind of... It kind of fucked with us a little bit. Graphics, the, when these sort of things do happen, this is the location just outside of New York City. It's part of the uh, Ramapo fault system. It's the longest crack in the Earth's surface on the eastern side of the country. And when earthquakes do happen, as, and as we know, it's very rare. But this is typically, it has typically been the spot that they have happened. This one was uh, at our current look. Oh, getting ahead of myself here. Let me go back for you guys. Uh, at our current look, this one is a 4.7 magnitude, and, and it was located uh, just half a mile down, which is incredibly shallow as far as these things go, which is why so many people felt it. Uh, like you, I didn't feel it here in the building. Nigga, you was high. If you didn't feel that earthquake, you was high. I don't, well not, no, 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 because when you high, you aware. I don't know. I don't know. How y'all didn't feel that? I felt like I was going to die alone. Like, I'm about to get married, like, tomorrow. Like, no, I'm getting married yesterday. Because I ain't dying alone. Fuck that. I don't ever want to experience an earthquake by myself again. No funny shit. I'm traumatized. But I have friends who've been texting uh, far out into Brooklyn who felt this. Uh, some folks up in Princeton, New Jersey also felt it. So it's really shallow. It's part of a fault system that is really long, it doesn't move very often, but when it does happen, this is typically where these happen here across the, across the Northeast. And I do think that shallow nature is the reason that we've seen so many people reporting and texting and calling so far this morning. Adam, I wanted to ask yes. you about that a little bit more. So we were just talking about the earthquake in Japan was much deeper at 21 miles. Ta Taiwan. Ta I said Japan, sorry, okay. in Taiwan. Um, was 21 miles below. 
-hmm. So this one you're saying is much more shallow, relatively speaking, and that's why people felt it? Yeah, this one is incredibly shallow. Um, the, the most of the ones we get are closer to what you see there in Taiwan. Uh, this was really shallow. It's not a huge number, but for this part of the country, this is a big number, and it is the shallowness. Obviously, the closer you are to the surface, it takes a smaller shake for us all to notice it. Uh, and this is, it, from what it appears, at least in these initial reports, was a very shallow earthquake. Yeah. Um, nah, yo, I noticed that. Like I told you, yo, I felt like the ceilings was coming down on me. Okay. It didn't, I, it didn't feel like an earthquake. I don't even know what the fuck an earthquake's supposed to feel like, to be honest. It just felt like, I just felt like the building, the building was going to, yo, I was about to die. That's what I felt. It was over for me. It was, that was it. That was it. But the human body really wants to survive because the first thing that went through my mind was go outside. Get outside. Which I, what went through y'all mind, bro? Adam, uh, thank you so much. Get back yes, to work there. We'll get back. Girl, I need to smoke. Like, we really just had an earthquake. Like, we just had an earthquake. The fuck? Smoke. To you momentarily on the phone. I like that. Abel, a professor and research scientist at the Western oh. Observatory. Sir, thank you for jumping on the phone. It's early in this story. Uh, should people expect more tremors to follow, or how often do you get a one and done, sir? Uh, for an earthquake this large, I would expect there to be aftershocks that would. Hold up! Hold up! The hell are they talking about for an earthquake this large? He expected aftershocks. Hold up! Nigga, we still trying to come aboard the first one. Aftershock? The fuck? Would be felt by people living within a um, few miles, perhaps a few tens of miles of the epicenter. If there, if there are larger aftershocks, they say magnitude three to three and a half. And under normal circumstances, a three and a half would be about the largest aftershock that we would expect to, to see with the most frequent aftershocks occurring within the next, say, 24 or 48 hours. But... Uh, uh, progressively de decaying uh, number of aftershocks after that. Okay, came in at 4.8, went to 4.7. Apparently it's gone back to 4.8. Is that normal? Well, what happens is the very first number that comes out is not. See, yo, I thought it was a, I thought it was a fucking other earthquake or something. I had to lift my, yo, yo, this shit got my nerves bad. Automated one from the computers, and then you want human beings to check them. And then what happens is uh, within minutes or, or maybe 10 minutes or so after the earthquake, then we can do more sophisticated analyses and actually get the best estimate of the magnitude. So that's why you'll see the magnitude fluctuate around over the, the first maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes. But by about 30 minutes after the earthquake, we have a good number. I'm wondering about what Adam Claus was just telling us about in terms of... Yo, no funny shit. Imagine when this earthquake happened, if you was on the edge, you know how they got the edge in New York? Or if you was on the Empire State, but if you was in the Empire State Building all the way up top, girl, I would have died. Could you imagine you on you in the Empire State Building during the earthquake? Be anywhere in Manhattan, the first thing is going to go through my mind, a bomb. A fucking bomb. I would have lost that. I would have thought it was a bomb. Like, yo, we got to stick together, y'all. See, an earthquake don't care if you're black, white, blue, red, yellow, trans, man, it don't give a, we got to stick together. We got to figure, we got to figure earth out because what's, what's going on? What's happening? So the, he said the relative shallowness of this earthquake. Can you speak to that? Well, the earthquake, uh, USGS has put it at five point, at 4.7 kilometers, uh, which is about, uh, you know, 2.8 miles or something down into the earth. And that's actually a pretty common uh, focal depth for earthquakes here along the eastern seaboard, somewhere between uh, maybe the surface and, and six or seven miles of depth is, is right. very common. So this is right in the middle of that. And the wide felt area is very common for earthquakes. In, in, okay. in, that's helpful in information, region. John. Thank sure you so is. much. I see that, y'all. It happened in Jersey. I know I, I live in Jersey. So, like, well, it happened in Jersey. That was the center. And then, you know. They said it went two point something miles under the earth. So it hit New York. My mom, everybody was affected. They was calling me, making sure I was all right. It just was a scary experience, yo. It was a really scary experience, man. Bye, John. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian.